My name is Todd Shore. Uh, I'm an artist uh, living here in uh, Beverly Hills. <clears throat> and um, this is my studio. So uh, I'll just talk a, a little bit about some of my influences. Um, uh, obviously, there's a, a, a comic book influence to my work, and a lot of it stems from uh, old comics uh, from the 1950s. Uh, Mad Magazine, that was a big influence. The artists from Mad Magazine, like Jack Davis and Wallace Wood. Also, when I was a kid, I used to get a lot of these um, classics illustrated uh, comics. And another big influence was Salvador Dali. Um, this was a, uh, actually an original uh, gallery catalog from a, a, a Dali show from 1939. Other influences were um, uh, E.C. Seagar and his Popeye cartoons, and I've got an old uh, Jeep, Eugene the Jeep doll uh, from the 1930s. And uh, of course, Disney was a uh, influence uh, as well. During the 1960s, Ed Roth designed uh, really outrageous uh, custom cars, but he also uh, created these uh, Fink monsters. And when I was a kid, like nine or ten years old, this just absolutely flipped me out. I loved these monsters and that, that whole era was a big, big influence on me. And the other thing that I found fascinating was um, the myth and lore and history of some of the fraternal organizations from this country, in particular the uh, Shriners uh, with the red fezes and their secret handshakes and societies. The other influence on me uh, were the covers to the pulp uh, magazines from like uh, 1930s through the 1950s. They just had fantastic subject matter on here. And this is a science fiction theme, obviously. But we've got a, I've got quite a collection of pulp magazines that uh, primarily for the cover art, although a lot of interesting authors were published in there, Ray Bradbury and H.P. Lovecraft, um, who, as far as you know, literary sort uh, inspirations. I mean, they, they would definitely be some authors that inspired me, one way or the other.